Hi, it's Doreen, and this is your weekly oracle card reading for June 27th through July 3rd. I'm here in the pasture with Mr. Eeyore, who's a miniature donkey that came to us when his family could no longer care for him, and he's just a sweetheart. He was raised around children, so he's really domesticated, and he's got a friend here also named Mocha, who we'll introduce you to later. I wanted to work today with... Would you like an apple? He's got organic apples. There we go. He wants to say hi. <laughs> I wanted to work today with the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle Card Deck. This is a deck that I created because I love mermaids and dolphins and all things about the ocean, but also because the mermaids represent the unconscious, diving into your beliefs, your emotions, and what affects your manifestations and your life. So they really help to empower us by uncovering things that we may not even see that we believe that are standing in our way or blocking us. So I'm going to take these 44 cards. And are you going to help me, Eeyore? You're just going to wait till all the apples are gone. I know you. You're manifesting organic apples. Very good. He's so sweet. Okay, as you eat those apples, <laughs> I'm praying to the Lord to give us all insights and guidance that we need to know for God's will for this week for us all to bring about peace. And I'm shuffling these cards with the back to me. I cannot see the front of the cards. You could probably see them from where you are, Eeyore. Look at we got one more piece of apple left. Oh no, we have two. You're right. Here we go. He's so sweet. Okay. And dear God, what would you like us to know about this week? And I look for cards that pop up like this one. I cannot see the front of the card yet. I just see that it popped up. You're going to help yourself? <laughs> Excuse me while I feed Eeyore. Pressing things, you know. There you go. Okay. And we'll recycle this bag. And let's take a look at Wednesday, Thursday. Dear God, what would you like us to know for Wednesday, Thursday? And this card pops right up. I love working with the mermaid cards because they are very responsive. And I'm putting that on top of Monday, Tuesday. And you want to help me choose the weekend, Eeyore? Hmm? I'll bet you'd be good at it. And I see a few cards popping up. So I'm going to reshuffle and take a look at what's going on for the weekend. All right, there we go. Okay, that goes... On the bottom, I'm going to give you your last apple slice. There you go, baby boy. And put the cards down. And let's take a look at Monday, Tuesday. What do we have? I love this card, Accept Heaven's Help. This card comes up, darling, when you've been praying, praying, praying for help. And then the help's trying to come to you. But there's some part of you that's either feeling not deserving You've got a belief that you're not ready, that your good comes in the future. Um, sometimes this comes up as a result of believing that you have to suffer or struggle for good to come into you. It also can be a sign that you're getting guidance from God to take action steps, but for whatever reason, you're not taking that action. Perhaps you're not connecting the dots, thinking that that action has anything to do with the answer to your prayer, or perhaps you are thinking that you again, aren't deserving or aren't prepared. So the beginning of the week really asks you to take the time to get quiet and listen. One of the ways easy to do this is as you're falling asleep or waking up. You can even ask as you're falling asleep for God and Jesus and Archangel Michael to come into your sleep and give you very clear guidance that you will remember when you wake up. That's really helpful because when you're asleep, your mind's more open your ego is asleep too, so it's not going to fight it. And you are more apt to really get clear on the guidance when you wake up. And the main thing to know is that you do deserve good, darling. We all do. All of us are equally loved by God. All of us are equally um, important to God. And we all have an equally important life purpose. So do accept heaven's help. And also one thing that really helped me work through this many years ago was when I realized that when I allowed myself to be helped, I was in a better position to help my children and my clients and my family and friends. So let yourself be helped so that you can better help others. 
if that is something that helps you to accept heaven's help. All right, this is going to go back with the other cards. And then the next card for the middle of the week is morning affirmations. Now this goes into, again, the same thing. It's really showing that your self-esteem needs boosting, your self-confidence needs boosting, that you've by using affirmations, especially again morning as you're waking up, start your day with something positive. One of the things I do is before I read email, before I look at anything that would be the news, is I spend time reading something really positive and inspiring. So think about that or praying going outside in nature if you can, something that sets the tone. But one of the things that they're telling me to say for you is really start with positive affirmations about your worthiness. So something along the lines of, I am worthy for being alive. I am lovable for being who I am. I deserve love and happiness just for being who I am. So really making an unconditional love for yourself, really starting to say that I'm worthy, I'm deserving, and knowing that it's not elevating you above anyone else, because that's always ego when we think we're better or worse than anyone else, but just to realize that all of us are equally loved by God and have equal opportunity. Of course, some people take actions that we don't agree with, but God's working on them and trying to help everyone to come to that place of harmony and peace. So for you can do your part of it by coming to harmony and peace and knowing that you're worthy and that you deserve good. Look at this theme. Here's the weekend, let yourself receive. So there's been a block for you, darling, if you've been frustrated, frustrated that you feel like your prayers haven't been heard or answered, here's what's going on. This is what I love about the mermaid cards is because they go deep down and tell us the real thing that's going on. And for you, they've been trying to help you, but there's been some part of you that's been pushing it away. So let's do a prayer together, shall we? Let's take a deep breath. Oh, dear God, dear Jesus, dear higher self, Holy Spirit, dear Archangel Michael and all of our guardian angels of God, thank you for helping us to release anything in us that feels not good enough. Thank you for helping to heal any part of us that's been abused or told that there's something wrong with us or bad or broken. Thank you for helping all of us to realize that God created us divinely perfect for who we are and that God does not create anything but divine perfection. Not that we're perfect in that we're better than anyone else, but that we're perfect for who we are and our life purpose. Dear God, dear Jesus, help us to forgive ourselves for what we think we've done or not done. Please help us to know that we are beautiful, beloved children of God, each and every one of us, animal and people, and that we all deserve love and care. And you do, darling, you do deserve the best. You deserve to be healthy and happy and abundantly cared for. And from these cards and these messages, it looks like that's up to you. So let's make a conscious effort this week to say yes. So if someone offers to help you, say thank you. If someone gives you a compliment, say thank you. If you need help, ask for help and then let yourself be helped. No more feeling guilty for being helped. No more feeling like that's a sign of weakness or obligation. This is a world of giving and taking. So let yourself receive this week. And I'm very proud of you for committing to this work of growth and learning. And you're doing great. So give yourself a pat on the back. I'm sending you lots of love. Angel blessings. I want to see if Eeyore will say this with me. Eeyore, would you like to say aloha with me? Of course you would. One, two, three. You ready? Aloha. Have a beautiful week. Hi, Eeyore. You're such a good boy.